Coming off the big win at Pullman over North Carolina A&T last weekend, the Mountaineers were looking to move to 2-1. and one. To start off the game quick, Cedric Baker Boney breaks a big run for the Mountaineers after a short kickoff by Savannah State. This would set up a short run by Traveris Cadet, his first of the season as the Mountaineers go up by a touchdown. The Mountaineers defense came to play and Anthony Wilson forces the fumble. It's grabbed up by Cordy Witt. Early in the second, DeAndre Presley hooked up with Brian Quick on a beautiful 40-yard bomb. Quick is now just one shy of ASU's all-time receiving touchdown mark. This puts the Mountaineers up by 17 points. DeAndre Presley hit Jabil Watt on a 30-yard strike, which set up a two-yard dive by Presley, his third of the year, to give the Mountaineers a 20-point lead. Late in the half, Presley finds Traveris Cadet for 23 yards. Cadet gets out of bounds just in time to give San Martin a shot at a long field goal. Early in the second half, the Tigers open up the playbook to try to get some momentum. They fake a punt at 4th and 10. Hunter Derek Williams hit Brian Leggett to make a great catch for 27 yards and a first down. Savannah State still would not score. Roger Walker picked up Antonio Bosick's pass, which opened the door for a 30-yard run by Stephen Miller, who would score two plays later from three yards out, putting the score at 34-0. Savannah State, after a tough afternoon, finally got on the scoreboard early in the fourth. It was from 10 yards out and the only point scored by the Tigers. Palachin sacked Savannah State six times. DeAndre Presley gained his 5,000th yard during the game and is only the seventh Mountaineer to do so. The Mountaineers are now 2-1 and one, and they will host conference rival Chattanooga at The Rock next weekend to open this season's SOCOM play.